And here we go with the new workbench view. You know, I was, uh, so I think this is, uh, I've not made many of these videos, so I got a lot to learn, but, uh, yesterday when I was making videos, I was thinking, uh, that the, anybody who happened to watch this would get to see my back an awful lot. Uh, so, and also got the opportunity to watch a few videos from you know, folks I enjoy watching and, and was noticing that uh, they actually made quite a bit of effort to uh, getting different camera angles in there, different views in there, so well, might as well give it a try. Alright, so what I got here is this uh, angle iron and we're just going to go ahead and mark up some uh, yeah, I'm just going to go every nine inches, and we're going to lose a little bit on the chop saw uh, when we, we chop it up. But uh, you know, oh well, this is uh, this is a just for fun project. I found when you mark the actually, what I can do here is something. Take that guy right. Well, it's not going to matter later on down the line. Uh, yeah, I've taken to just marking the crown of the angle iron. Yeah, that's basically where the blade's going to what you're going to see when you're trying to line the blade up. So I'm not even I don't even need to run the marks up and down the sides because I said that crown is what I'm interested in. And these are just real rough, right? 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 Well, it's Friday here. Truly is Friday. And weather has we've had some beautiful spring weather here in the Seattle area. And uh, got home from work today. Started doing some yard work, getting the yard spruced up a little bit. Don't mind it after all the rain and miserable gray we've had. Warm sunshine's good. Okay, and let's see. How did we come up? Well, nine inches. Very good. Okay, well, we got our marks here, so we get set up to do some uh, some cutting on the uh, chop saw. 